I'm telling you guys, vegan Swiss roll cakes are a nightmare. Believe me. Today we have finally the chocolate Swiss roll recipe that I've been promising you for probably close to two months. I did a poll here on my YouTube channel like two months ago asking you guys what you would want to see me do the most. Chocolate Swiss roll, German chocolate cake, vegan veggie burger, and the Swiss roll won. And I'm doing it last. I'm really bad at this kind of stuff. Like I'll eventually do everything I say I'm going to do, but it usually just takes me a really long time. So here we go today. We're gonna get right to it because it is so incredibly hot today. It's close to 90 degrees here in New Jersey. We are definitely into summer. We've rolled right into it. I'm dreading firing up this oven. But I'm doing it for you. I am using the recipe from fragrantvanilla.com. Amy has some really amazing recipes. If you guys have not checked out her blog, you really should. I do love her recipes. I've tried several so far already. And the one thing about Amy and her recipes that I love, and I'm trying to actually adopt myself uh, is getting away from the refined sugars. She uses a lot of coconut sugar. She uses a lot of dates for the sweetness in her recipes rather than a white refined sugar. You'll notice that in her recipes she uses a lot of um, like apple or pear puree and just a lot of more natural ingredients which I really do love and I'm trying to sort of adapt to that sort of way of baking for myself. So anyway, I am using her recipe. All the links are gonna be below this video. And um, so you're definitely gonna to wanna to go check out her recipe for how to do this, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Um, ooh, my nose is so itchy. They say if your nose is itchy, you're gonna get into a fight. Hmm. All right, so I am actually, I do have my second camera set up because um, I've gotten so much good reviews from having the recipe only version, whenever I do a recipe here, like you guys know, I sort of gravitated to this vlog style way of filming um, since March, I guess, since I sort of picked up filming again. It's just a lot of me talking, uh, just kind of hanging out, really raw style in the kitchen with you guys. And then all of a sudden there's sort of like a recipe sprinkled in here and there. And so I have been doing it two different ways now. If you guys want to hang out with me here, a lot of talk and a lot of BS in, um, it's probably going to take 20 minutes to get this video done. But if you just want to get to the recipe, obviously you can go straight to her blog, Amy at FragrantVanilla.com. Chocolate peanut butter roll, the recipe name is called. You could just go ahead and grab that recipe. Or you can click through to my short version recipe only video for how to make this chocolate peanut butter Swiss roll. So let's get right to it. As you can see over here, I have my dates already soaking in some boiled water. That's gonna really soften them up. We are then going to add to that some creamy peanut butter and some filtered water. Over here, I've got my dry ingredients, which is the flour, cocoa powder, and baking powder and baking soda. And then last, we're going to add in the apple cider vinegar. Yeah, let's see how this goes. I have to go get my food processor and then we're gonna just mix this thing right up. All right, so the first thing that I have to do is actually strain out the water from these dates. So let me do that real quick. They look kind of gross. All right, into the food processor along with the peanut butter. See, this is the thought process with making two videos now. I have to make sure that I get all of the important shots on the second camera view because that's going to be the video, the recipe only, where I do only the close-up stuff. All right, so yeah, I put the peanut butter in there with the dates, all the water. 
So because dates are so incredibly sweet, you don't need any other sugar for this recipe. I'm still out of vanilla extract. I'm not working. I couldn't get unemployment. I haven't got a dime coming in and I refuse to pay $30 for eight ounces of vanilla extract. So I'm leaving it out, but if you have it, definitely add it. All right, so in this bowl, no mixer required, which is another reason why I love this recipe. I've got my flour, my cocoa powder, my baking soda, and my baking powder. And, oh wait, I didn't put the baking powder or baking soda yet. There it is. Okay, so all of the dry ingredients. Did I do salt? I don't think I measured out the salt. by hand and then all the wet right into the dry and that's it. Give it a little whisk and last I'm going to pour in my apple cider vinegar. This thing's going to start bubbling up right away from the reaction from the vinegar with the baking soda in here. So definitely you wanna have your oven preheating as I do, I remembered this time. So now the funny thing about this is that um, I, I actually did this recipe one time and then another half because she specifies a 10 inch by 15 inch jelly roll pan. I absolutely don't have that size and I'm like, that's such a weird size. I don't think I've ever had that size pan ever in my life. So um, I have a 12 by 18, which is a standard half sheet size pan. And that's the pan that I always use. So 12 by 18 versus 10 by 15, I don't know really how, it, her pan is definitely a little bit smaller than mine. So if I used her recipe and tried to fit it into my larger pan, my, my cake is going to be way too thin. So I just played it on the safe side and did one time plus a half time recipe. So if you guys do that, just be careful with your math. All right, so there's the batter. I don't think I'm going to use all of it though. thing about a jelly roll, a Swiss roll, is that if you're if you do have too much cake batter and it's too thick of a cake, when you try to roll it, it's just gonna crack. So let me see what this looks like. Because um, I don't really think a half time extra is gonna be too much, but I definitely know that if I did it just to her recipe with my larger pan, it wouldn't have been enough. That does seem a bit excessive. I'm gonna take a little bit out of this out of there um, because I have a feeling this is gonna really rise a lot and my cake is gonna to be too thick. So I guess you guys need to get a 10 by 15 pan so that her recipe fits exactly perfectly um, because one and a half times recipe is definitely a bit much. This one will be my snack. All right, I've spent enough time talking. My oven is already ready. We're gonna pop this right in. Let's see, she says 15 to 18 minutes. Um, we'll check it out, 15. Oh, forgot about this one. It really only took 15 minutes to bake. It's totally done. It looks a bit odd. Can I hold this? Yeah. Um, I mean, it doesn't look odd. It just looks a little bit different. Maybe the lack of sugar is going to change the way this looks. It's still very hot, so we're not going to be able to fill it yet. I was actually going to use my own peanut butter buttercream recipe, but then I was like, why should I add all of that refined sugar and all of that margarine to it when she has a recipe for the filling? And it's all right in here. Coconut fat from a can of coconut milk, just the fat part, not the liquid maple syrup, coconut butter, 
which I'll link to, well, go to her recipe and you'll find what everything is. This is my first time using coconut butter. I was intrigued by that ingredient, so I bought some. And um, what the heck else is in here? Oh, more peanut butter. So that's pretty much the most unhealthy ingredient in this whole entire recipe is the peanut butter. Um, so I'm gonna definitely make her recipe for the filling and see how it goes. All right, into the food processor we go. That coconut butter is very interesting. It's basically nothing but pureed coconut. Um, but it's like real soft and it's interesting. This will be my first time using that. like so hot in here so once that cake cools we're gonna fill it up um, in the meantime while your cake is cooling you might want to go check out her recipe well you would have had to check out her recipe to get the recipe in the first place anyway talk amongst yourselves while the cake cools we'll be back in a minute well I spoke too soon about the cracking of the cake this whole thing cracked but I'm gonna just go for it anyway and we'll see what we end up with sorry Amy I ruined your recipe Yep, it's all cracked up. Look at it. I'm still going for it. We're not giving up. Maybe it's going to look like crap, but it's going to taste good. I already know it tastes good because I ate that whole other little one that I baked. <laughs> I'm definitely glad that I put this in the fridge because it's super hot in here. See, this is where buttercream may have been a better option because buttercream acts like glue and it would have stuck this whole thing back together. Oh, this whole thing is cracked. This whole entire thing has cracked. should maybe not have done the one and a half times the recipe and just stuck with a very super thin cake batter in a bigger pan. Oh, it's a wreck. It's a total wreck. Definitely go to her blog if you want to see um, like such a beautiful finished result because this is not bad. Oh my god. It's still going to taste amazing though. It is really good, you guys. All right, well, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this monstrosity. Amy, I'm so sorry that I screwed up your recipe, but I'm pretty confident that it was because I did one and a half times the recipe. So uh, if you guys do want to attempt her recipe, I know you're gonna have a better time of it than I did because you're going to use all the proper pan sizes and recipe quantities, not screw it up like I did. And I will talk to you guys again soon, hopefully not with another fail. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again. Happy vegan making and bye for now.
Thank you so much for sitting through this major fail of a recipe. I just wanted to let you know that I did redo this Swiss roll with total success. So you're going to want to be sure to watch that next video for how to actually make this amazing recipe the right way. And then you are not going to want to miss what I actually created out of that huge disaster Swiss roll. I turned it into an ice cream cake terrine sort of like my play on a tin roof sundae with that coconut peanut butter fudge layers you guys check out how we came out of this major fail all right thanks again for watching and i will catch you again soon